couple of minutes till we get started. Um, if you didn't know already, I run the sessions uh, for the younger age group. So on a Saturday morning, I do a session for children who are aged four to seven. Uh, this session will be for any children sort of from three, even two year olds might want to go two, three, all the way up. Just some different movement stuff, and then it gets a bit more advanced as we go further through, which is when we get the football involved. If you are doing a session, let me show you, you will need four objects. Now, if you can get something that is white, then yellow, then green, then red, that's perfect. If not, don't worry, just get four objects um, because we're gonna need these for the last game, which is where you guys are gonna have a go at challenging me in a little race. Okay, so you need four objects. Obviously, if you can get something white, yellow, green, and then red, then perfect. If not, don't worry too much. Short one minute for everyone to get in. Yeah, it's gonna be an animal theme session today. If you can't tell by the uh, animals on the screen, what have we got? We've got giraffe, cheetah, sloth, eagle, crocodile. Be using all of those in today's session, which is good. Last chance for anyone jumping in to get themselves ready. Cool, obviously I hope everyone had a lovely Easter, made the best of it. Right, I think we are ready to get cracking. So welcome to the complete safari. Now you're gonna to need to use your imagination a little bit. Like you always do with my sessions, I've always got a theme, so we've done superheroes, I've done space, astronauts and aliens. Um, we're gonna go on a little bit of an animal adventure today. So we're gonna start on the complete safari and we are going to be looking out for some animals. Now, some of the animals will be on the screen, some will not be on the screen, okay? So what we're gonna do is if I say a certain animal that we can see, we're gonna move like that animal, okay? And you're just gonna copy what I do. So we're gonna start with a kangaroo. Now, if we can see a kangaroo anywhere, all we have to do to start with, just gonna do small jumps, really, really small jumps. Get ourselves a little bit, little bit warmer before we can do the big jumps. So if you see kangaroo, you just do small little jumps like that, okay? So if I say kangaroo, that's what I want you to do. If I see a cheetah, so if I'm looking around, looking around, and I can see a cheetah, Cheetahs move really, really fast. We're gonna run really, really, really fast on the spot, getting our knees up, getting our arms moving really, really, really quickly, okay? So let's just start with the two and then we'll add more in. So ready, can we be a kangaroo? So we can do our little jumps. Remember, we're gonna start slow and then we'll do high jumps at the end. So we do kangaroo jumps really high. Who can go as high as me? 
Good. And can we be a cheater? Now remember, cheater move really quickly. Using those knees, getting our knees up, getting our arms up. Moving really, 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 really fast. Excellent work. Well done. We're going to add in our next animal now, which is one of Coach Lee's favourite animals. Now, it is a sloth. Now, I think the sloth is, where is he? Up there. Yeah, always up in that corner somewhere. So we're going to be a sloth. Now, sloths do not move very fast. They move really, really slowly. So when you hear me say that we've seen a sloth, you're going to move really, really slowly. Now, the challenge is who can move the slowest? But you have to be moving. So we're moving, balancing on our leg. We're going to be moving, still moving, balancing on our leg, working on our balance, lifting that leg up and bringing it down. Okay, so if I see a sloth, that's how I want you to move. I want you to move nice and slow. Working on that balance in those legs, okay? So we've got three animals now. We've got a kangaroo, we've got a cheetah, and we've got a sloth, okay? With our kangaroo jumps, we can now start to go a little bit higher. Ready? Kangaroos, so we can go a little bit higher. A little bit higher, good. Nice and high, who can jump really high? Good, like a kangaroo, we're gonna do five more. Ready, five, four, three, two, and one. And can we be a cheetah, so can we go nice and quick? You go nice and fast like a cheetah. Excellent, guys. Well done. Really, really quickly. Good. And can we go into a sloth? Can we go really, really slowly? Working on our balance. Making sure we're trying not to fall over. Perfect. Next animal is on the screen. It is down there. We've got a giraffe. Giraffes are really, really tall. So when we do a giraffe, I'm going to stretch up and I just want to be as tall as I can on my tippy toes, moving around my area. Really tall on my tippy toes, tall as I can, moving around this area. Okay, so you can be super duper tall for me. Who can be the tallest? Good. No, I'm not very tall, but I'm going to try and make myself as tall as I can. I can almost, oh, just about, Touch the ceiling, okay? So there you go. If I was say a giraffe, you've got to be super duper tall. We're going to add in the last two as well. So if you hear me say crocodile, what do you think we have to do? Have a guess. What do you think crocodiles are very good at? Crocodile is down there. Crocodiles are going to be very snappy. So if you hear me say a crocodile, you're going to move around the area and you are going to be snappy like a crocodile. You need snap, snap, snap like a crocodile and if you hear me say eagle which is up uh, there still not used to this reverse stuff so it's up there somewhere if you hear me say eagle we're going to get your wings out and you're going to fly around the room like an eagle okay that's all the animals so you now need to help me because we've got loads with movements okay can we be a kangaroo can we do nice big kangaroo jumps Good to keep them, do it moving around. Move around like a kangaroo. Can we jump sideways? Can we jump backwards? Can we go sideways? Can we do a big jump forwards? Excellent, well done. Can we be a cheetah? Can we go really fast? Really, really quickly. Even faster. Good, well done. Can we go into being a sloth? So we're going to move really, really slowly. And like I said, you've got to try and go slower than me. Watching our balance, trying not to fall over, and moving really slowly like a sloth. Can we be a giraffe? Can we stretch up on our tippy toes and move around like a giraffe? Super duper tall, really stretching yourselves out. Good. Who's going to be the tallest? Oh, I can reach a ceiling. Yes, just about. Excellent. Can we be a crocodile? So we're going to move around and we're going to snap everything up. We're going to snap like a crocodile. Snap, snap, snap. I might be a crocodile running forwards. I might be a crocodile running backwards. I might be a sideways crocodile. I might go the other way. So 
tapping like a crocodile the whole time. Excellent. And can we be an eagle? So we're going to fly, stretch our arms out, and fly like an eagle. Again, I might fly backwards. I might fly sideways. I might try and do it flying in the air like that, like a jump as well. Excellent, excellent work, guys. Well, that's the first part finished. That's a little bit of a warm up. We have gone through one, two, three, four, five, six different animals there already. So, big well done. If you have a drink, now's a good time to have a drink. And then you are going to need a ball. I've got a football. Any ball that you can find will do. We're going to do a little bit of a warm up with the football, making sure that our feet are used to it, getting our feet warmed up. And then we'll have a little game at the end. Okay, so take a minute, have a drink. Hopefully some of you have managed to get outside and do this. I haven't, I'm in here, it's hot, okay? Plenty of water because water is very important. Oh. Cool, we're gonna go 10 seconds and then we're gonna get into our full work part of the session, okay? This is where it starts to get from very easy without a ball. Now it's going to get a bit more advanced, okay? So now you're going to have to use those listening ears, you're going to have to turn them on. Boop! Turn those listening ears on and get yourselves ready. Okay, now I've got my football here. We're going to carry on the animal theme. Um, you heard a little while ago that one of my favourite animals is a sloth. Now I have two favourite animals, okay? Sloth and a meerkat. Now I love meerkats, I think they're wicked, okay? And if I could have a pet meerkat, I would. So we're going to do meerkat touches. Now, if you don't know, a meerkat, very, very small. Okay, they're very, very small, very fast. So if a meerkat could play football, they would not take big touches. They would take loads of little touches. So for the next 30 seconds, moving around your area, making sure you don't crash, bumping into anything, I just want you to kick it however you want, just little meerkat touches. Getting loads of touches of the ball, loads of changing of direction, if you move around, maybe you can turn, loads of little touches on the ball. However you want, with whatever part of the foot. Okay, just keep moving around. It should be really close to your feet the whole time, because a meerkat can't kick it very fast. So it should be really close to your feet the whole time, okay? Like it is for me, really close to my feet. Excellent work. So there's some meerkat kicks, okay? If you hear me say meerkat kicks, that's what you do, just move around any part of the foot, okay? Get comfortable with using that football, okay? More touches you take, the better. We're gonna add in another animal. It's an animal that goes Have a guess, what animal is it? Who thinks they know what animal goes Good, it is a snake, okay? So we are gonna have snake kicks. Now snakes like to go in and out, so now, is when we start using different parts of our feet. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. So, this part here is the inside of my foot. Can you point to the inside of your foot for me? So I'll show you again. This bit here is the inside of my foot. Can you try and make sure you know what the inside of your foot is? Point to it for me. Excellent. Now, on the opposite, this bit here is the outside of my foot. Can you point to the outside? Good, make sure you know. So you've got inside, outside. Okay, let's play a little game. Can you touch the outside? Can you touch the inside? Can you touch the outside? Can you touch the outside? Can you touch the inside? Good, okay. Just make sure you know something. Um, that you need to be getting comfortable with, okay? Because it's gonna help you with your football massively. Now, if you hear me say snake kicks, which we're gonna practice now, you're just gonna use the outside and the inside of your foot to change direction a bit like a snake. So I might go with the outside to start with, and then I might need to turn, so I might go on the inside, and then I take it on the outside, and then I might need to turn, just using the inside and the outside of my feet. Turn, just with the out and the in. You use both feet. Just loads of little touches, show, show off, show your best skills. Just like a snake, in and out, loads of changes of direction, making sure you don't crash. Good guys, okay? Excellent, now snake kicks are a little bit slower 
and our meerkat kick. So, let's go through one more time, and then we're going to play the final game. So, can we do meerkat kicks, which are a little bit quicker? Small kicks, really quick though. Changing the direction, use different parts of it. You can use the bottom of the foot, which is called the sole. Any part of the foot you want, just move around like a meerkat. Really small touches. Excellent. And can we go into a snake? A little bit slower. Outsides and insides. Good. Insides, outsides. Excellent work. And stop. There, so that's our little bit of ball work. Uh, talking about you know the technical stuff of our parts of the feet. We finish that, and we're going to have a little game to finish. Now, you have to be careful when you're putting your objects down. So, like I said, I've got something white, yellow, green, and red. I'm going to set my objects out. Be careful when you're setting up your area because the last thing I want is messages from your mums and dads saying that you've run into walls and bumped your head. So, be careful. So, I'm going to put my white one down here. And we're going to make a square. I'm going to put my yellow one down here. I might be a rectangle in this area. Yellow one down here. I'm going to put my green one at the back. And I've got my red one, which I'm going to put here. Now we're going to introduce a couple of new animals and a couple of the same. Okay, so you're going to start in the middle of your box. And this is a race against me. I'm going to call out an animal. So. If I call out penguin, you're going to go to the white, okay? If I call out giraffe, you're going to go to the yellow. Does anyone remember which animal did the big snaps? Crocodile. So if I say crocodile, you're going to go to the green. And if I say lion, you're going to go to the red, okay? Now it's a race. You guys are against me. We're going to start in the middle. Let me move these forward a little bit. You're going to start in the middle. I'm going to call out an animal. Now you have to dribble your football with your meerkat kicks all the way up to that cone. So for example, I might say red. I might say lion. Go up to that cone. You're going to turn around and get back into the middle. It's a race against me, okay? Now I've not been doing much to keep myself fit, so you've probably got a big chance here to beat me. Ready? So if I say giraffe, you're going to dribble to the yellow, turn and back into the middle, keeping that ball really close to your feet the whole time, okay? Can we go to penguin? So you're going to find the penguin, which is the white one for me, and then you're going to get back into the middle. What about if I said crocodile? So I've got to look, where's crocodile? But you guys need to beat me, I'm going to go to the crocodile, take my small touches, and then I'm going to get back into the middle. Okay, I hope, I hope you've beaten me so far. Can we go to the lion? Where's the lion? Oh no, that's not the lion. I'll turn. Lion's here, I'm going to turn and get back into the middle of the zoo. Perfect. Can we go to the penguins? Excellent. Go back to the middle. Good. It's going to be even quicker now. Can we go to the drafts? Good, I'm going to get there, I'm going to turn around, get back to the middle. Can we go to the crocodile? Oh, that's not the crocodile, where's the crocodile? He's over here, we're going to turn around, get back into the middle. Good, can we go to the lion? Where's the lion? Ah, oh, there's the lion, can we turn around? Get to the lion, get back to the middle of the zoo. Can we go to the giraffe? Where's the giraffe? Where's the giraffe? It's over here. Get back into the middle. Good, can we go to the lion? Where's the lion? Lions this way, go to the lion, get back into the middle, we're going to do a couple more. Can we go to the penguins? I like the penguins. Can we go to the crocodile? Where's the crocodile? Back here. Can we go to the crocodile? Good. Can we go to the giraffe? And get back into the middle of the zoo. Last one. Can we go to the crocodile? Where's the crocodile? Oh gosh, he's back here. Right, can we get to the crocodile? Turn and back to the middle. Good guys, grab yourself a quick drink for me, okay? Well done. Whew. Very, very worn out. Right, that is the end 
of the day's session. It's not as long as some of the other ones have been. Um, I've been known to waffle. I don't know what's going on on that. I hope it's still, I hope it's still live. But yeah, that's the end of today's session. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any photos or videos to send in, please send them. Uh, remember, you can still view this video. If you want to try again or share it with other people, it will still be on the Facebook and the YouTube. Um, so please do share it around. Uh, we just want to get as many people doing uh, sport as possible. Uh, and I know it's hard sometimes um, finding things for the younger kids to do. Um, so show them, just might burn them out a little bit. Give you guys a bit more of a peaceful evening as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next week, same time, Tuesday, half four. Yeah, I hope I'll bring a drink next week. Have a lovely week, guys, and I'll see you then. Well, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but... It...